Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Chief Minister has the vision and commitment to transfer the water from the surplus basins to deficit basins and completion of the Polavaram Irrigation Project declared as a national project with the support and guidance of the Government of India. His passion for providing irrigation and empathy towards farming community have made him to take the irrigation projects contemplated by late Sri Vyas Rajashekhar Rediji under Jalayagnam on priority to instill confidence to the farmers of Andhra Pradesh. Taking clue from the theme, More Crop Per Drop, advocated by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, he is actively promoting the methods of improving water use efficiency by adopting pipe supply micro-irrigation methods like sprinkler and drip ir irrigation by both individual farmers and community farmers. It is my distinct privilege to now request Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy, Honorable Chief Minister Andhra Pradesh, India, for his much-awaited insights and words of wisdom on this momentous occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, this deserves a louder round of applause from everyone here, please. Honorable Union Minister for Jal Shakti. Shri Gajendra Singh uh, Shikavadji, Honorable President, ICID, Mr. Ragab Ragab, Vice President, ICID, Shri Kushwender Waraji, Members of International Executive Council, Delegates from various countries, representatives of international and national organizations, other delegates, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of you. It's a matter of immense pleasure that the Andhra Pradesh State Government is hosting this prestigious 25th International Congress on Irrigation and Drainage and also 74th International Executive Committee meeting of the International Commission on Irrigation and Drainage, namely ICID, in this wonderful, beautiful city of Visakhapatnam. From 2nd of this month to 8th of this month, that is, for this entire one-week period, I extend my warm welcome to the eminent participants, and I wish you all a very pleasant and enriching experience during these events and your stay at Visakhapatnam. I am impressed and pleased to know about the initiatives and contributions in the field of irrigation, drainage, and flood management of ICID in tune with its overarching objective of sustainable agricultural water management. In this line, in this connection, Andhra Pradesh is a riverine state with 40 major, medium and minor rivers and has a rich heritage of agriculture and irrigation dating back to several centuries. The state government is committed to utilizing the irrigation potential in the drought-prone and upland areas and to enhancing the agriculture productivity for every drop of water by adopting the concept more crop per drop as envisaged by our, our Honorable Prime Minister of India. The state of Andhra Pradesh is confronted with several challenges. No doubt these challenges are faced by almost every state in this country. But though the state has, particularly as far as our state is concerned, but though the state has a large coastal belt, we have regions like Rayalaseema and western parts of south coast which frequently encounter droughts due to scanty rainfall. 
impairing the living conditions of the people in those areas. Further, being the lower riparian state, with respect to major interstate rivers like Vamsadara, Nagavali, Godavari, Krishna, and Penna, the state encounters water shortages during lean monsoon years and also havoc during high floods due to intense rains in the catchment areas. To effectively address this, irrigation is the only possible solution. In fact, uh, today's topic also tackling water scarcity in agriculture. One would seriously wonder, probably immediately the thing that strikes your mind is probably going for micro-irrigation, probably going for sprinklers, to tackle a water scarcity in agriculture. But okay, these kind of things are basic necessity as to how to conserve water. But in my opinion, the bigger debate should be transferring water during the monsoon period, which is during the June, July, August, September, where it rains. And these days, due to global changes, climatic changes that are taking place, these days what you see is when it rains, it pours. You have, you're witnessing a situation where the period of rain is very small, very, sh very short in number of days, but when it rains, it pours. And during this period, effectively transferring water from one basin to another basin would be the biggest challenge to address this situation of tackling water scarcity in agriculture. This is of my firm belief that one would have to come up with cost effective and at the same time in that cost effective nature itself trying to transfer the water from one basin to another basin within the limited time, within the limited time frame. Increasing the, uh, while the capacities of the dam continue to be the same the drainage system, that is the canal system, would have to be probably uh, in the most cost-effective manner widened to transfer the water from one basin to other. This would be one particular debate. Uh, what I would urge this council to, this commission to seriously contemplate, because this is one particular uh, site that we are seeing especially in, in my state. When it rains, it pours. And I think uh, this is a global phenomena which we are all witnessing. And I am sure that uh, this commission here, which would be debating on all these issues with respect to sustainable water management in holistic in a holistic and comprehensive way would evolve technically feasible, economically viable, socially acceptable and environmentally friendly solutions. I am wishing this uh, uh, Commission all the very best and while I also thank uh, uh, the Indian Government and also this Commission for giving Andhra Pradesh State this opportunity to host this event. I wish to conclude by expressing my appreciation for this renewed commitment to the principles of sustainability, equity and collaboration. I am quite certain that together we can contribute to a more water secure and food secure world. The interdisciplinary thinking, debate, discussion and recommendation recommendations of this Commission will continue to make a lasting impact on the future of in the field of irrigation, drainage and flood management going further. Thank you all. Wish you all the very best.
ఈ వీడియో కనుక మీకు నచ్చితే లైక్ చేయండి మా ఛానల్ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోవడం మాత్రం మర్చిపోకండి